Hi, it's Amy here. As a programmer as well as a tech writer, I write my notes in Obsidian and publish them on the media platform. So how could I easily convert my Obsidian Markdown notes to media blog? Can I just copy and paste? Let's try out. Here's the article draft I'm currently working on. If I'm trying to publish this way to the media platform, let me try just like copy this part. I want to publish first things, just this area, this part. And then I copy this. This way is the text editor inside the media. I just the past uh, I just passed the test and then oops it doesn't work. It has the highest yes it has everything from uh, my Markdown editor but uh, it's not what I want. I want uh, the formatted test like uh, with uh, with heading something like this one, you know. In order to make it work, I can like uh, manually do one by one. Yes, I can do something like this, and this, and this, and also this one. This part is uh, also messed up. And also this one, I have to change it to paragraph, and this. So I have to do the manual work. If I have some, a large amount of a test, it will take uh, quite a amount of time to you know format everything. If I have some order list, uh, the code blog, uh, everything, the blog quote, and uh, some other uh, checklist, maybe I have to you know have to manually update, make the adjustments in order to match the right uh, format. In this video, I want to provide you two ways to quickly convert Obsidian Markdown Note to the media blog. The first way is an online tool. This tool is just called Markdown to Media Tool. So it's open source. Go to the hosting page, click this one. Inside this one, we can just paste the thing we, we just copied. And then now everything is automatically converted to the media format. We just copy this one now. And then we go to uh, the media part. And then we, if we paste this one, now we get it. Now we get everything is right. Let me try more tests. Try this part. I don't want to go this part. No, let, let, let me give more example and then go over here and then pass this one over here. And then you see, you also keep the this format over here and also this uh, line over here. Let me grab this one and then we copy this one. Let's then move it down a little bit. Then pass it here. And yeah, now we get it. Yeah, we get it. And even that divided this line, this border, also become this one. Normally, in order to uh, create this dividend, this border line to separate the different sections, we do like this way and click this button and uh, uh, click this way. But now it's automatically uh, created uh, for us because we just type three dash and then you will automatically generate uh, this borderline for us. So it's really cool. Another way, a plugin built for Obsidian. So let's just go over here and then go to a plug community plugin inside of the brother. You can uh, find something called a copy as HTML. Install this one and enable this one. Once you make sure you have this one installed and enabled, the first step is we select the, the area test we want to convert to media block like we did before. So give you an example, I want to select this part. And then once we select it, we just uh, tap Command P, uh, go to the command uh, and then find something called SML this way. Copy as HTML, copy as this command, and then we just uh, press enter. This area of test is automatically converted to the HTML test, which is compatible to media block and also saved in the clipboard. We just go over here. Now let's come back to our media test editor again, and then we just past, press uh, uh, command V, pass the, the HTML test, and command V, and then now we have everything. Yes, we have everything. We just uh, convert from a step one up to here, and then we have everything. Okay, even the audit list is very clear. It's also here. So it's really cool. 
recently media also support a code block with syntax highlight if we have some code block in our notes we also want to use this code inside our media block we can simply we first select first dance we first select this block first and then uh, type this and then we go here uh, for instance there's an open here you will press uh, command v now it automatic here but it's not exactly correct so we have to change a little bit to type script i don't know why uh but uh, yeah we can move here and then now everything right but the type script is all over here i don't know what's going on but we let's remove this one let me try something different let me try another code for instance for instance this bash and also this uh, JavaScript and also this CSS. Let's try out. Uh, we select first. We select all the way here. Okay. And then we press uh, Command P, find HTML, and uh, press Enter. And then we just go over here. We press uh, Command V. Okay, let's see. Okay, not exactly correct. This one should be bash. And this one is empty. This one should be JavaScript, not Java. Yeah, CSS is, uh, yeah, it's sort of correct, but it's not less, it's just CSS. Okay, so uh, still we have to do a little bit of work, a little bit of adjustments, but it's really nice to have such a code block inside a media block uh, because before everything is like uh, black and white, uh, something like this. Uh, you don't have the code sentence for different uh, programming languages, but now uh, I can have some, you know, different uh, uh, code sentence uh, highlight for different programming language I'm using. So I just provide two options to convert your Obsidian Markdown notes to media blog. But I personally recommend the second option because it's a built-in plugin and you don't have to open another browser to open some other external tools. You can easily convert your Obsidian Markdown note to the HTML inside Obsidian. And then just pass it to the media blog. So for me, it's my personal choice. It's very easy. That's all for today's video. I just provide a quick solution to solve a problem. I hope this video is also very helpful for people who are also a big fan of writing some stories on the media, especially when you are using Markdown Editor to write your notes. Okay, and uh, see you next time.